Wednesday night in Tampa Bay in Game 2 of the Stanley Cup Final between the Lightning and the Montreal Canadiens, Lightning forward Nikita Kucherov interfered with Canadiens forward Joel Armia. As the video shows, Kucherov was going to the bench for a line change, but seeing Armia coming up the ice, Kucherov slowed dramatically, changed his path of travel, and delivered a hip check. This is blatant interference, but it's also so much more than that. It's really easy to look at this and say as far as checks go, it was clean, he barely hit him, he was already slowing down for a line change, he didn't really do much. You could find a lot of ways to defend this as just a minor penalty. But when you really take a step back and think about it, this is a situation where Kucherov isn't even supposed to be on the ice anymore. He should be going out of his way to avoid any play completely, even on players eligible to be checked. Instead, he literally changes speed and direction to intentionally go out of his way to become engaged in the play against a player who isn't even eligible to be checked. And he doesn't just give him a shoulder bump, he turns himself sideways and squats into somewhat of a hip check. This is a very dangerous play for someone who has no idea it's coming and has no reason to expect to be hit. This play has nothing to do with hockey and goes into the 6-10 to 10 game suspension category. As an isolated incident, this would be worth 8 games alone. However, I'd have already suspended Kucherov three games for a late blindside check to Brett Pesci of the Carolina Hurricanes in Game 2 of the second round, making Kucherov a repeat offender. As a repeat offender, Tough Call would suspend Nikita Kucherov of the Tampa Bay Lightning 12 games for interference.